Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models. My name is Bobby Waldron and welcome to this special product review where we're going to be doing a airbrush um, review of a manufacturer that I personally um, like, which is Harder and Steenbeck, and it's going to be of their Infinity C. R plus their Gehaldi, which the Gehaldi, I think I'm pronouncing that right, it is Spanish, so do forgive me, but the Gehaldi here is a very sexy airbrush. So let's get this open and take a look. I mean, just a quick one as well. Um, it is based off of the Infinity. It does say it's an Infinity CR plus, it's based off it, but really, actually, what you'll notice when we open this up is actually it is virtually a whole new airbrush. I mean, they've changed it so much I mean it is on a level of its own so we do get um, some nice instructions in here it is the infinity instructions by the way um, nice bit of a box does look quite nice and fancy this is the two in one by the way um, I did get them from I do go to everythingairbrush.com for my airbrushes fantastic website you know the best place to kind of get airbrushes you can't really compete um, with that site. Um, it, this one in particular was around about, I think it's like almost 250 pounds, right, for the two in one. And then the solo was uh, about 200 pounds or just slightly under it, like um, 199 pounds, 99 or something like that. Um, but yeah, let's open this up. And the first thing we're gonna notice straight off the bat, if we take a close, close look, is just how sexy this looks. It is a very eye-catching, eye-candy airbrush, right? Uh, we have engraved all on it the Infinity R Plus Gehaldi, um, and then on the opposite side, yes, we do have like Made in Germany by Hardra and Sternbeck. Um, what else have we got on here? We've even got their website on there. Really, really cool, cool looking airbrush right um, again it's very similar to our infinity here um, but the changes they've done are actually quite drastic so let's kind of start taking this apart and let's have a look at these drastic changes that I've done compared to our infinity just here um, the first thing we're going to notice this is kind of like the big one I think is actually if we actually um, put these airbrushes side by side you will start to notice that actually the trigger is a lot more forward we could turn it this way and you can just see um, you know how much they're bringing the trigger forward bringing you you personally closer to the piece that you're spraying really getting you in close and I think this is the whole idea around this airbrush it's about getting in close it is basically designed for spraying miniatures getting in close and spraying like faces on miniatures and stuff so that actual design change to bring you closer is really really good um, when you hold it and you feel it the first thing i noticed as well was the actual trigger right the trigger it's been brought forward so you feel like you're closer but they've actually got this um raised area on the trigger and i think it's designed to um kind of force you into a proper sort of um, way of holding the trigger right i mean with our infinity and even the evolution here it's sort of like you can hold this trigger however you kind of want it this one sort of forces you to hold it and you know you can't go any further you're kind of hitting um our color cup here and that's quite interesting it kind of gets you holding your tr uh, the trigger in a much more sort of proper manner to get um, the best control out of it what this also does mean though is you can only go up to a two mil cup on this if you try and put one of these big five mil cups on here it's just not going to fit but then you don't need that it's a getting close and personal kind of airbrush so let's begin to well let's have a quick look at a few things that we get in the box as well what we get is we get these sketch caps which are very very cool right nice lovely little extra it just and they go on here so beautifully i mean they're not screwed on it's kind of just friction that holds them on got to be a little bit careful putting them on actually because i mean you don't want to stab yourself so it is a bit tricky in all honesty because you you don't want to push down and get stabbed 
night, but as you can see, it's a nice way and there's three different lengths for you to get um, at that right distance. So you can sort of get on the mark, get that distance spot on every time, which is rather, rather cool. Also aids in cleaning the end of your needle. But it, this is a version two airbrush, which I'll go over in a bit. So um, we'll get to that. So with our Infinity apart now, we'll have a look at what's going on with this. So let's just begin to take this apart. So we're taking off a little back bit just here. Now it's got this, um, just like the Infinity, the quick, um, quick sort of valve thing here. It kind of allows you to dial your airbrush into the, the right setting so that when you pull back, it stops. So every time you pull back, it can have that right um, setting. I don't personally use them in all honesty, but um, what you'll notice is the back of here is actually very, very differently. All right, so let's just take out, well, actually let's get our nozzle off first. We don't want to push our um, needle out just, just yet without that off. Right, and we'll push that through. Right, so what we'll notice if we just kind of get our, you get a little tool that comes with this, right, and we stick it just in here, just to just pop that off nice and easy, and to put it back on the same way as well. Right, but this is what is also quite different. This whole setup, um, it's longer for one. Um, what you will notice is there is just no play in that at all. If we can get you to focus. When I sort of try and move that in there, there's just no play. I can't feel it at all, which is gonna help with your whole trigger response and, and all that good stuff. No play at all. If we bring on the infinity, right, right I'm feeling play. You might be able to see that moving side to side compared to our Geheldi, right? Just I'm getting no movement at all. Very, very nice and precise. Even the trigger, right, the whole, well, first off, the infinity spins around, so it just kind of makes it a little bit tricky, you know, putting it together and, and all that stuff. Whereas this does not, it's in the right position, you know where it's gonna go, um, as well as where it feeds in, right, it's shaped. So it kind of only goes in sort of one way, whereas with our Infinity here, again, you've got all this sort of play going on. So it's just getting more and more precise where there's, there's just really not really hardly any play going on from where the, the needles um, go into the trigger, just giving you sort of like a better sort of smoother response, which is all very, very cool. Um, and if you remember earlier, I mentioned about this is a version 2. Uh, and what Harder and Steinbeck mean by version 2 now these days, it is your needle and your nozzle. You'll be able to tell what a version 2 is, but if you look at the end of the needle, you'll have notches just on there compared to if we bring in the Infinity version one, because you can get Infinity, all of them now in like version two, you'll see there is just nothing on the back when it comes to um, our needles just here. So this is basically indicating to me that this is the, I forget what two notches is, I think it's a 0 0.2, um, maybe it's a 0 0.15. And you also get the two sort of grooves on our nozzle as well. I think that's a fantastic idea. The amount of times I've been switching out um, needles and nozzles and going off and being like, okay, what size is this needle and nozzle and which one does goes to which? Um, I think this is absolute fantastic idea. Not only that, I have no idea what they're on about. Excuse me, that's my phone. No idea what they're on about when it comes to these needles having sort of. Um, made out of a different type of metal or something, but apparently they um, allow the um, paint to just flow off the end of the needle a lot nicer, and it prevents drying up paint on the end of the needle. How they've done that, I don't know, but it does all sound quite cool. So let's put this nicely back together. Uh, let's get our trigger in, which we will get this orientated just right because you know it's not rounded inside to spin around, right? And then we can place this in, which should 
kind of go in one way and you'll feel it just go in and then that's all good all right and we can spin this on here get out our little tool um, I don't like to sort of give this too much welly just a bit of a feel just kind of don't feel like you're going to cross thread in just a little pinch really let's get that out of the way um, we can then put in our nozzle our end cap here. This is what I like um, Harden Sternbeck over the um, a water kind of airbrushes. I mean, you've got it's a big nozzle. I mean, it, it's it's so easy to kind of take it apart and maintain it and clean it, right? And you still get the same, just as good a performance. We screw that in. Bring in our um, our needle here. Now you haven't got to worry about your needle sort of. I don't know. Maybe you've got your your um, uh, la, la, la. your trigger sort of maybe spun the wrong way around slightly or something and it could catch on there right we can just literally just push that right through we haven't got to worry about it touching anything just as soon as you get to the end where it's just about to come out the nozzle very very lightly just see it come out and just as soon as it stops any kind of slightly bit of friction there we stop and tighten that on no pushing that all the way through all right and that should then lock in all right give it a bit of a test looking good then we can whack this on like so Ooh, a little bit too far there we go and that should all be nice and ready to go so let's just quickly plug some air in because i do want to um this is the one difference uh, the difference between like the evolution and the infinities um you'll probably be able to hear this it's kind of a bit more um sort of economical on how much air it actually lets out i mean if you can just hear that compared to say our evolution here Yeah, there's a lot more air coming out compared to an Infinity uh, and the Geheldi here. Even though the um, air pressure was exactly the same there, it's just a bit more economical, kind of getting it where it's supposed to go and just makes things more precise and nicer. Uh, so let's just whack on one of these sketch caps. Right, and maybe just have a little bit of a mix and a paint and have a little play. So a nice bit of paint just mixed in here, just using some Mr. Hobby paints, right? And you'll notice, I mean, it does, it is so nice and smooth. You can just feel the trigger. You can get that biting point so nice and quick. And actually, I mean, just striking some lines across here, right? It's just so sharp, right? And with this, um, Kind of sketch a cap on it it's just so easy just to lightly touch your surface and just get that precise height and hold that height getting that nice sharp consistent lines um just gonna sort of maybe try and get you in a bit closer i mean we can just get in so so close and so sort of fine with this get my biting point there we go I mean, my handwriting is not the best, but there we go. I can just like nicely write my name with that. We can try and get, if we just get the paint just, just coming out, just getting that biting point, we should hopefully be able to get a really nice, fine, sharp lines. As you can see just there, just holding that biting point and I can just get such a nice sharp line. Oops. There we go, just so nice. Um, and that's what I like about this, it is getting in so close, so sharp. Hopefully you can see just on there, almost like you're using a pen, right? And that's what it's all about. That's, this airbrush is all about sort of getting in there like a little tiny pen, like a little tiny paintbrush, just painting faces and miniatures and whatever cool, really close in sort of stuff. Um, so all in all, 
I mean, this is definitely a big recommendation. I mean, just the look of it looks absolutely sexy. The two-in-one is about 250 pounds. The solo is about uh, 200 pounds. I mean, if you are looking at an Infinity, I know the Infinity is about 165 pounds for the solo and about, I think it was almost two, 210 pounds for the two-in-one. Yes, I'm talking about 40, 35 pounds more for this airbrush over an Infinity, but I do think it's worth it if you are someone who wants to get in ultra, ultra close, and all these little extras like the sketch caps and stuff really just make it work, and it looks absolutely sexy. I mean, that's a big selling point for me. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so if you want a quick little buying guide here, our evolution here, you know, this is a, a sort of a general purpose kind of airbrush doing your general sort of um, priming, main base colors. You know, you can get in fine you can put like a 0 0.2 0 0.15 needle in something like this and get in nice and fine doing stuff like um, pre-shading post shading bleaching that kind of stuff now your evolution that's still a part just here your evolution is where you start to get in nice and close right uh, probably getting sort of um, extra fine you're going off and kind of mainly using this for things like bleaching pre-shading post shading um, doing starting to do things like um, freehand camo patterns um, you could have a go at doing miniatures with this kind of doing faces I have done in the past um, I did a Superman it was quite a bit of a bit of a scale so I have done that in the past you can do do miniatures with it but um, here if you've sort of if you're really wanting to get in close um, ultra close um, even sort of um, fine to ultra close this is probably the airbrush for you um, you've probably already got an evolution at this stage so you probably know how good our Hydra and Sternbeck is um, but yeah definitely highly recommended